welcome friends apart from my usual videos of education i think this is the first video which i am giving in english on some social issue when i gave this video the text of this video the content of this video in hindi one of my close friends asked me to make in english also he said lot of persons might not be in a position to understand hindi very well so i said okay i'll go for it so this is for you now whenever we start tv newspaper any news channel the total news is for corona 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 beds are not available people dying of corona <coughs> us so many deaths india so many deaths and all these datas are 24 hours being banged on our head at times you might feel that whether you are going to complete your 2020 or 21 or not it is not sure at times you might feel it like this but let us try to understand from the figures what does actually it means are we not dying regularly the question is we are dying otherwise also regularly when there is no disease there is a natural death a person gets aged and he dies on its own and apart from that there are certain persons with diabetes with hypertension with cancer who are dying so why this corona 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 let's try from the international standards itself see mortality rate which you can check from any internet is between 7.1 to 7.4 7.5 per thousand i am taking the lower figure which is 7.14 per thousand so this is the mortality rate in general in normal circumstances that means number of person deaths in any country per thousand in a year this is our normal death rate we call it mortality rate let's now discuss about our capital which is very much in the features because of nearby uh, media reports and the government central government working from their state government functioning from there now the population of capital as per census previous census is 1.9 crore now you will agree 1.9 crore simply means the persons who have got the voter card in delhi the persons who are having either ration card in delhi or they they are having aadhar card in delhi apart from these there are lots and lots of people who are coming from outside to serve in delhi it might be from south india might be from near neighboring towns but there are a lot of people who are coming over here so actually the population of delhi at any moment is going to be much much higher than 1.9 crore secondly this is census of 2011 next census is due in 2021 so you can very well imagine from 1.9 crore we have definitely moved out to 2.2 2.3 crores but still i am taking the conservative figure from the internet from the lowest value of the population which we are getting from the government demography so mortality rate becomes 190 into 714 per year because 7.14 per 1000 means 714 per lakh and 1.9 crore means 190 lakhs i am not using the word million because million lot of people might not be comfortable with the million so lakhs and crores is common in india so 190 into 714 gives you the value 1 lakh 35660 deaths in capital per year it is a normal phenomena you can check it up from any of the places so this is 1000 one sorry 1 lakh 35660 now i'm just simply making a mathematical calculation 
of class 6, 7, 8 where I am just dividing this whole figure with the 365 as we presume there are 365 days in a year. This comes out to be 371.67 deaths per day. So in Delhi, the natural death or the death, the previous death prior to Corona, I am saying of January, you can say when Corona is not there at that time, the total death per day is going to be roughly 371.67 as an average. So you can say it is between 370 to 375, somewhere near that. Per day, I repeat it's per day. Now, as on date, the death due to Corona in a day is about 60 in Delhi. The figure is made bigger by taking the previous deaths of Corona and counting that. The Delhi has crossed 1500, 1200 landmark. That's the way we call it. Because whatever has been previous, it's not important. What is death per day, you can think. But if you talk of death per day, the impact on your mind will not be so big and blowing. That's why 60 deaths till date when the Corona is nearing the peak in Delhi. But 371.67 is a natural death in Delhi. Let's take one more thing. Now when you say the person has died of Corona, how do you ascertain? You are not going to have any postmortem of the person who has died of Corona. In fact, the fear has been created to an extent that nobody goes to the mortuary with him. Nobody takes his dead body. The family doesn't accept the dead body. The terror of Corona is so much. So when the person has died, how can you say he has died of coronavirus? Now, one thing is only, you can only say that he, the person who died was having Corona symptoms or Corona test intested, he got positive. That's all. You can see the renowned actor who died yesterday. The thing was before his postmortem, uh, sorry, uh, postmortem, Corona test was done. Had he been positive in Corona, then the situation would have been he has died of Corona, leaving his whether he is committed suicide or murder, whatever it might be. Similarly, we can only say these many persons have, with corona infection have died. Whether they have died because of their cancer, whether they have died because of some other ailment, they have died of hypertension, diabetes, we do not know. We can only say that they have died of anything but they are they were suffering from corona that can be stated but again the test of corona is still not confirmatory the test of corona is still not decisive because normally the test says 10 percent false negative and 40 percent false positive are we are getting from these tests so in fact if we agree that the person has died of corona still whether he is actually having corona is not certified but still if we presume that the person who has died was having corona and has died of corona only then we can say okay 60 persons die a day now see what I am saying is, I don't mean even a single person should die with any ailment, whether it's diabetes, cancer or any other ailment. May God give the life to everybody. I am not saying. But what I am saying is, the truth should be very well understood by us. Now, India has got a population of 140 crore, roughly again. Again, these are the populations which are as per census or expected as per census and we are not taking the infiltrators within the country. Due to that, the figure might go very high. Of course, they also fall sick and they also come to the country. Now, the death per year is going to be 1 crore. Again, the same concept, 714 per thousand. Again, simple mathematics of 365 days, I make it comes out to be 27,397 natural death. That means prior to Corona. Whether with, with natural death or with corona.
you get that much depth. Now these 27,000 and odd people are dying per day in our country. As per legal complication, you are supposed to get a death certificate from a doctor. And what will doctor write? It is very rare they will write he has died of his aging. After all, the person will die because his heart will stop functioning. They will call it cardiac arrest. They will say heart failure. Now these are the terms in medical you can say but actually he has died of his age. Because we don't write person died of, the, of its age. So that's why whenever a person is dying for some these causes, after all, the death also has to be given a name. So that's why their name is cardiac failure or I mean heart collapse, something like this. But this many natural or common deaths per day are happening in the country. And remember, till now we are having 8,000 deaths, 8,000 and odd deaths for Corona in cumulative sense of 80 days or 90 days starting from I am talking of the 22nd or 23rd March now 27,000 per day in 90 days or let's say 100 days would have become 27 lakh that means 27 lakh or 25 lakh people have already died within these 3 months within this sorry this 90 days of corona 25 lakh people have already died but there is no question of talking about that it's only corona 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 let's see one more thing are hospitals usually working very well These days, there is a news from the hospital because right now, because of COVID, you might call them. They will come to your home to ask you, what's the problem? How were you treated by hospital and this and that? But in normal times, three months prior to this, if somebody asks me, somebody comes to any consumer court, the doctor has unnecessarily charged me or the doctor has not done his uh, work properly, there is no media coverage of that. You can go to consumer code, that's all. That's why you can go for medical, medical legal cases. Government launched an app, Mira Aspatal, 2.74 crore people gave the feedback. Feedback stated that 40% of the people, that is 1.909 crore per year, have given the feedback that they were dissatisfied with the treatment given by the hospitals whether by the staff or by medical negligence or for one way or the other they were dissatisfied now these 1.09 crore people were not asked by any media channel to come on the tv only those which are suffering due to corona are being highlighted So, if you compare per day, you have roughly 30,000 persons per day. Again, simple mathematics class 8, I divide by 365. Around 30,000 per day people are dissatisfied throughout the country. Obviously, a lot of people are going to metro hospitals also, big hospitals also. But there is no, there is no information from that. So, we have to presume that people were not having any problem with the hospitals as if the medical service in India was very very good I do not blame the doctors for the medical services I again tell you it is due to some system error which is created which about which I'll talk in the next video but right now 30,000 per day are already dissatisfied and 5 lakh people have died of negligence medical negligence that means 1370 per day one person coming to any hospital having some problem there's a media hype of that but 1370 persons per day are dying of medical negligence and at that time media is just mum because the news is not selling the news is not selling please try to understand I do not mean to say that Corona is nothing. It's a joke. I don't say. But it's a normal flu. 
but yes you have to take precautions be cautious enough but daily seeing in the tv corona corona so many deaths so many deaths one feels that whether i am going to live for the next 6 months or not that is not the truth the regular death per year is around a crore in the country and we have not even got those many infected with us the percentage what we have right now received from the persons who are checked for the who are tested for covid you are getting only 4% people which are testing positive if the test is 100% correct presuming that 140 million sorry 140 crores will have only 5 crores which will be having suspected covid if the test is correct if everybody is moving the same proportion so it is not so dangerous yes but we should keep ourselves comfortably you might see that how the things change the moment sinestar dies all thing have gone from corona to sinestar after when news came from the pakistan uh, the indian high commission in pakistan to persons are missing all news gone for that then where is corona then it is corona is basically being run because of some vested interest of these medias will discuss about this some other time but this is what i feel so these are my views if you agree to it just you have to be very sure that it is not so dangerous and it is not good to always blame doctors it is not good to blame anything else see doctors and have to work under some hospital the hospital management is responsible not the doctor i'll give try to give in some of the videos the total bifurcation of the money which you pay and what goes to doctor and what goes as a taxation what goes to the infrastructure and hence you cannot blame doctors thank you and all the best